It's no secret that I love the Wealthfront automated investing platform, so today I want to do a deep dive into the Wealthfront app to show you how I'm able to earn 17% returns on my investments by doing pretty much nothing and allowing Wealthfront to do all of my investing for me. All right, let's jump right into it. What is going on, everyone? I hope you are all having a fantastic day. So I've made a ton of videos on the Wealthfront platform. So if you want a really in-depth review or more information, then I will leave links to those reviews in the description below. But today's video is all about the Wealthfront app. So let's get started and jump into the app to show you exactly how I earn 17% per year by automating my investments. And if you don't yet have the Wealthfront platform, then I will leave a link in the description below where you can sign up and get your first $5,000 of investments managed for completely free. All right, so when you first open the Wealthfront app, obviously you have to log in. And once you do that, it's gonna bring you to the homepage. And at the top of the screen, you've got your net worth with a little graph that shows you basically your potential growth based on your current investments. And then below that, we have all the different accounts that I have linked to Wealthfront. And that includes cash accounts, investments, liabilities, and anything like that. And I do have most of my accounts in here, but definitely not all of them. So I will show you how to link a new account in a second. But the first thing I'm gonna do is in the top right hand corner at the top of this home screen we're actually going to click the goals menu and if you click how soon can you retire it's actually going to ask you a few different questions and you can input all of your different accounts answer these questions and basically wealthfront is going to calculate if and when you can retire and at what age that will happen so just a fun little menu if you wanted to play around with that but going back to the home screen if we scroll all the way down to the bottom we're actually going to add a new account so to do that we're going to click add or link new accounts and it's going to give us two options we can either open a new Wealthfront account. So in my case, I have a Roth IRA, a SEP IRA, and an individual investing account with Wealthfront. Or we can link a third-party external account, including bank accounts, other investment accounts, or liabilities. So the process is the same regardless of what type of account you're linking. But in this case, we're actually going to link a liability, which would be my American Express credit cards. So from here, we're just going to go to the top and type in American Express. And there we go, it pops up. So now that we've input that information, we're going to click secure login. And there we go. It is just that easy. We have now linked our American Express accounts and it will take a few minutes for that to be linked in here. But what's going to happen is Wealthfront is then going to factor that into all of the calculations of what our net worth could be in the future, what our net worth currently is, and most importantly, when we are able to retire. One other thing you can do is click on each of the accounts that you have linked. So in this case, let's click on my third party bank accounts and it's going to show you how much money is in there, what the average average monthly contribution is to that account and what they believe the APY is. And I will say in my experience, that is usually not accurate at all, but it's definitely a nice way to look at all of your different accounts under one platform because you can even scroll down and look at the transaction history for that particular account as well. But if we go back out to the main menu and scroll down, let's go to the investing menu. And this is where things get really interesting. So let's actually click on my Roth IRA. And this is going to show the performance of my Roth IRA for the different time periods seen here. So we've got three months, all the way up to all time and we can even select 2022 2021 and we can also scroll down and see the breakdown of this particular portfolio so in this case i've got u.s stocks foreign development stocks real estate emerging market stocks foreign market bonds corporate bonds and cash and you can even dive in further and click on each individual asset class and they're just going to show you exactly where that money is being invested so for u.s stocks you can see that this is actually invested in vti which is the vanguard total stock market ETF, which is a very popular broad ETF. And in this case, it currently has $6,000 invested in VTI. And then it also shows you the time weighted return, the annualized return and the year to date return. But if we go back out to the Roth IRA menu, what you're also able to do at the very bottom is click the edit portfolio button. So if we click on that, this is where you're able to change the amount that is invested in each particular asset. So here you can see all of the different ETFs that Wealthfront is investing in for me. And you can also add investments. And in a previous video, I showed you how to add a Bitcoin or Ethereum ETF to your portfolio. And you can do that by just clicking the add investment button and then selecting cryptocurrency at the bottom of the screen. But again, you can go through all these different investment classes and pick which ones you would like Wealthfront to invest in for you. But we're not going to do that right now because I have optimized this portfolio exactly how I want it. But if we close out of the edit portfolio menu at the bottom of our Roth IRA screen, we're going to click see more. And this is where you're going to see all the different transactions 
transactions on this particular account. So in this case, that includes dividend reinvestments, dividends received, and even auto rebalancing, advisory fees, tax loss harvesting, and all of that for this particular Roth IRA. So you can see that in here, I've got dividends for $80, $47, $13, $36, and so on and so forth. And that is one of the beautiful things about the Wealthfront platform, because not only are you going to obviously get those dividends paid to you, which would happen with any other ETF, but what they're going to do is automatically reinvest that for you. So you're going to earn dividends, have that reinvested back into the portfolio, which means your next dividend payout will be bigger. That is then reinvested, and the cycle continues until you can retire whenever you want and drive around in the Lamborghini. Maybe that's an exaggeration, but it's definitely possible. But if we go back out to the main menu here, again, we can see the individual investment account. That's going to look exactly the same because this is a Wealthfront account. And even with these third-party accounts, you can click Manage in the top right-hand corner, and it's going to bring up some really detailed information, including the annualized return and the average monthly contributions for this particular account. And again, you are able to update the link if it is ever broken for whatever reason, and that is really easy. Usually, they just use the Plaid system, and it takes a matter of minutes. And then, of course, at the bottom of the screen, we have our liabilities, including the American Express card that we added at the beginning of the video. But moving on to the next menu is going to be the transfer money menu. And from here, you can move money in and out of your account, deposit money, withdraw money, and all of that good stuff. So at the top, you can see your scheduled transfers. So in this case, I don't have any scheduled transfers, but you can actually set up recurring deposits into your Wealthfront accounts, and that is where those recurring deposits would show up. You also have automated savings, and this is a really great feature of Wealthfront that essentially is going to recognize when you get your paycheck via direct deposits and then will automatically move a set amount or percentage of your choice from that paycheck into your investing portfolio. So basically, this means that you can skip the manual transfers or even the automated transfers and you can just set this up yourself and invest it into my different Wealthfront portfolios if I want them to. But going back out to the transfer money menu, we've then got deposit cash where obviously you can deposit money into your Wealthfront accounts, withdraw where you can pull money out of your Wealthfront accounts. And then lastly, at the bottom, we have bring over investments, which is something that I have personally used when I transferred my Roth IRA from TD Ameritrade to Wealthfront. So it's actually going to pull up any third-party investment account that you have linked to Wealthfront, and then it's going to give you the option to pull that money into your current investing portfolios. So I have the individual SoFi account, for example, and they can pull that money and put it into my individual investing account with Wealthfront, or they also have my 401k, so they can even roll over a 401k into Wealthfront if I needed to for whatever reason, if I was leaving a job, for example. And then, of course, at the bottom of this transfer money menu, you can also open up a new account with Wealthfront, including their investing options, banking, and their socially responsible portfolios as well. Moving on to the next menu is just going to be the notifications. So in this case, you can see that I've had a lot of you sign up for Wealthfront, which is awesome. And again, if you do want to sign up and get $5,000 managed for free, then I will leave a link in the description below. But under this activity menu, you're also going to see your account rebalancing, where they rebalance your portfolio for you, your advisory fees, your tax loss harvesting, your dividend payments, and all of that good stuff. And you can even filter this activity. So say we just wanted to look at dividend payments, for example. We can select dividends, and now it's just going to show us all the activity for dividends received and dividend reinvestments. The last two menu options are pretty self-explanatory, but the gift is going to be where you can refer your friends and family to Wealthfront, and each of you will get $5,000 managed for free. I've already said it a million times, so you know what to do. Link in the description. But you can see the status of your different referrals, the total amount that you get managed for free at the top of the screen here. And then the last menu is just going to be the profile. So you've got your settings, your linked accounts, and all of the boring stuff that is important but isn't the most exciting. Obviously, in the settings menu, you can control the different aspects of your Wealthfront accounts, including locking in accounts. Under linked accounts, it's going to show you a list of all of the different institutions that you have linked and give you the ability to link another institution. You're also able to find an ATM near you if you use Wealthfront's cash management account, which allows you to withdraw cash at 19,000 ATMs for free. And then you have their blog, contact Contact us documents, which is just going to be like your tax documents, for example. And this does give you the ability to send those directly to a service like TurboTax if you wanted to. And then you've just got your help center and sign out. And other than that, this is a pretty basic portfolio and really sleek and modern app that is really easy to use. Again, you all know that I absolutely love Wealthfront and it is what I use for a majority of my long term investing. I know that there is a lot of competition out there with Betterment and even SoFi offering automated investing now, and I have 
have tried all of them, but I again say that Wealthfront is what has worked best for me, and it is the platform that I plan on sticking with for the long term. If you'd like some more information on Wealthfront, again, I'll leave the links to my full review videos in the description below, and I'll also leave a link to their historical returns where you can look at the different risk portfolios, which again range from 0 all the way up to 10 being the most risky, and it will actually show you the historical returns of each of those portfolios, so you can get an idea of how I have averaged a 17% return with my 9.5 risk portfolio through Wealthfront. As always, if you did get value out of this content and you want to help support me, the easiest way to do that is actually by checking out some of my favorite financial tools down in the description below, including that offer from Wealthfront and an offer from the Point Cashback debit card that will currently give you $100 when you open your account and make your first purchase. So definitely check that out using the link down below. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future. And of course, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it so much. Take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.